So let's pretend I am an international student and I was a good student. So I signed up for the event. I filled my profile and, you know, I was selected to go to the event. So I, uh, at the day of the event, I received messages to remind me of the event because I'm a forgetful student. You know how things go. I, you know, <laughs> they forget. And here I am. I've signed, I signed in, I have my password. And here I am, I come into the lobby. And this can be, a, be customized to whatever we want. This was a study in Arab event, so this is what it looks like. Um, because I could be an ESL student, there's always a possibility of having the platform in different languages. So I'm Anna, so I have it in Spanish. So but for those of you who don't speak Spanish, so we're gonna look for English and we're gonna switch up so everybody can understand and we can move on. All right, so once I'm in the lobby, it's pretty straightforward. The, event, the, the fair can be seen uh, in pavilions or exhibitors. So I'm gonna go look, go look at the pavilions, check it out, right? So this event was segmented in different pavilions. So language, MBA, online, postgrad, just different sections, right? And a school can be in more than one pavilion as well, because as you know, some schools offer language and they offer postgrad and they offer um, short-term programs or online classes so there's uh, lots to offer so let's look and see it says to me that some of these schools are offline so they have a little red uh, button over here all right uh, oh oh i see a green one so i'm gonna go visit the university of bologna because i heard they're good and they're in italy and i want to check out a postgrad over there All right, so once we arrive at the booth, we have some information to look through because I'm not going to be one of those students that just come in and start speaking directly with the representative. Even though they did greet me, they were very nice, I'm going to first check their booth out. So they're going to have, uh, we can look at the booth and they have a little bit about the exhibitor. So a short description of uh, what they are, what they do, what they offer, where they're located. All right. And there's some pictures as well. So I can check it out. And some of it can be albums. You can put as many pictures. <coughs> uh, there's some videos over here. And you've noticed everything has a little star and it says favorite. It's just like Facebook. You can favorite something. So I really like these videos, but I don't want to spend all my time here uh, watching videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to favorite this international program catalog and I'm going to look at it later. So think about it as putting this brochure on my virtual backpack for looking at it later. Right. So moving on. So when a student come in, just like you guys saw, there's a message that pops out, right? It autom it's already, it already says, hello, Anna. So they, because the system knows I'm Anna. And then I'm going to start talking to the representative. Oh, hello. Let me ask if, if, let me see if they offer MBA. They offer an MBA. And it's, it's nice to highlight that this is a private conversation that I am having with the, with the representative, right? It's just me and, and Giovanni at, right now. And he's gonna, uh, he's gonna, he's starting a, conver a video audio conversation. I'm gonna pick it up right over here. It's not giving me another window somewhere else to go and log on. And I can see the representative and start speaking uh, to him and have a lengthy, good conversation about MBAs in Italy. Thank you. Hello, Renata. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this conversation over here, it's going to be recorded um, uh, uh, for, I, I can see later as a student and the representative can see it as well. Okay, so if I'm, um, oh, thanks for coming. They're actually nice too, look at that. Um, if I'm not sure um, what school I'm looking for, I can always do 
uh, the search through through this search bar. So I can search by the name of the school, but I said, Mike, if I didn't do my homework ahead of, the, ahead of time before the event, I don't know what school I'm looking for, but maybe I know I want to do a language program or an MBA or an online program. You see, so let's broaden our, our search. Or maybe I know I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm in business and I want to look for a business program. Or maybe I really know I want to go uh, and study in Ireland. So I'll put Ireland here and we'll look through location. So there's different ways that you can search for uh, what you want to study. Even if you don't know <laughs> what you want, well, you know, that's the, the case with most students, you, you can do that here as well. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Perfect. Okay. And now we're and now gonna go. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna share my screen on my side. Let me know, Renata, when you're seeing it. Yeah. Sure thing. So I'm gonna show uh, no you Renata, you're gonna show, gonna show the it. other the other part. <laughs> I'm gonna show you the what the institution sees, right? Um, because we saw what the student sees. Now we're gonna look at what the student sees. Uh, sorry about the, what the institution sees. So look at, Gio it, this is Giovanni over here. This is Giovanni over here. Um, so you can see they can do online, busy or offline as a status. So they're online if they want to uh, accept students. They're busy if they're, you know, talking to too many students at one point and they say, okay, enough. Or, and they're offline if they just want to go uh, for a cup of coffee, for instance. The next step over, we're going to look at chat students. So that's what really Im is important to us. So these are all of the students um, that were either came through the booth or, you know, or are, on, are online on the booth. So we were talking to Anna, which was me. <laughs> so and the interesting thing, and there's a little bit of a cheat sheet over here. So we know that Anna is looking for education and her interest is international relations and conflict resolution. So that's a cheat sheet for the recruiter to kind of start up a conversation or kind of direct a conversation to a program that they already have. So it's, it's very straightforward. Um, next step over, we're gonna go to, oh, we can actually uh, transfer as well, I'm sorry. So say um, Anna's interested in doing MBA and Frederica is the one that knows everything about uh, F uh, MBA. So I can transfer Anna over to uh, Frederica and the conversation that I had, that, that was had with her um, can be transferred over to Frederica. So she knows what they, the, what, as a representative, what you already told Anna and they continue on from the point you stopped. So that's actually pretty pretty handy. And so just we're going to go look at uh, what does it look uh, a, a video uh, chat looks like from the institution side. But you're calling me, so I'm not going to be able to pick up. <laughs> no, but <laughs> because it's in the same it's area. In the, it's in the same area, but you just but you're going to call the student and they're going to pick up. It's important to highlight that only institutions are able to in initiate audio and video calls. Just because uh, we've tried the other way around where students were calling institutions and that gets really messy. So only um, institutions can start. So then um, the next tab, next, next tab over is the chat team. So you can talk to your team if you're in, you need to leave or you need to take a break, you just talk amongst yourself. Help desk. Um, it's important if you're every if something is really uh, if something if you have any glitches or anything or if, if you want to say something really nice to us, we appreciate those comments as well. You can come in uh, add those comments at the help desk. It's uh, FPP is there for you before the event, during the event, and after the event. We are there um, all all the time. Um, and the next tab over, we're gonna go to visitors. So we can look at we have two we had two visitors and look at it underneath this says 20% match and 60% match to this school. That means this this the whatever the student is interested in is 60% of a match for what we offer. So you know that you might want to really engage in conversation with Anna because she might be a very very good candidate. Uh, let's move over to stats, just so you can you can look at it. 
Um, these are rough statistics that you're going to get about who's been to your booth uh, during the event. As Sebastian said, um, you will get a lot more information after once you download your leads. But just this is just so you have an idea of what's going on in your booth. You can even know what um, brochures were favored, uh, you know, what videos were watched or weren't. So this is so this is for your own information while things were going on. I think um, this is as far as I'll go for uh, for now, and I'll hand over to uh, Sebastian. Thank you, thank you very much, Renata, and that's perfect. And I will move on with uh, a question that I have already seen in the question section, section, but it's it's next in the presentation. It's about building your booth. So oh. building uh, the booth is very simple as I'm sharing here on my screen. Many of you uh, probably already have access to the FPP Hub. The FPP Hub is where we basically concentrate all the information about everything that it is. It has to do with FPP from registering to upcoming events to your past event data and leads uh, to um, your invoices, your FPP points, etc. So here on my upcoming events, if you're registered for a virtual fair, you will have the opportunity to click booth setup. And here is very, very simple. The first information you need to put is the booth name. That's gonna, that's how students are gonna see your booth. You're gonna be able to load your representatives just with the name, position, email, and the languages they speak. This is important because as Redat explained, the platform is multilingual and it will try to match automatically those students that, for example, speak Spanish, which which uh, with any representative that speaks Spanish as well, uh, and like that. Then you will be able to select the booth model, and it's very very simple. For example, let's suppose I select this one, um, and I'm gonna upload booth images. So first, the one for the logo, and I have here on my screen, uh, I have this one for the logo, it's just we need to resize it and fit it. And for example, I click confirm and that is my logo there already. And then I'm gonna select different image for the banner. Same way you can resize it and select only the, the area that you want. I'm gonna center it there and confirm. And that way is how you build the image for your booth. I'm gonna cancel now, no need to save. Uh, then videos uh, you can upload new videos uh, from youtube yuku or vimeo so you need to simply put the url url for the videos uh, same thing with photo albums you simply click, click on create a new album and you drag and drop all the pictures here and last but not least brochures you simply click on new brochure you put a title the title is very important i will speak about that in, in a moment and drag the brochure here. Uh, it will upload and it will be ready. And we also have a nationalities block because the platform is intelligent in knowing where the student is coming from based on the their IP. So let's say for example, your institution does not uh, accept any a specific nationality. So you can block it here by choosing the nationality you don't want and, and that way, your booth will not even be displayed to students from that country. So you save your booth. After saving, you will be able to preview your booth exactly in the same way that the students are going to see it. And uh, that's it. Mm, so all in all, in half an hour, you're going to have, if you have all your materials ready in hand, in half an hour, you can have your booth uh, ready and built.